Now, the World Health Organization says that it has lost touch with personnel at a hospital in northern Gaza, as there are reports that it's being raided by Israeli forces. The IDF says it's been responding to intelligence regarding the presence of terrorists in that particular area. Let's bring in our correspondent, Adam Parsons, joining us now from Jerusalem. Adam, great to have you with us uh, for this. So what do we know about this hospital? I think it's the Kamal Adwan. Uh, well, the first one we're going to talk about is the, uh, the hospital uh, in Khan Yunus, which was uh, attacked uh, airstrikes uh, in pursuit of what the Israelis say. They were looking for Palestinian uh, gunmen. And the World Health Organization uh, says that it is extremely concerned about officials and patients uh, who were in that hospital. And it says that they had to uh, uh, evacuate them. Uh, there was uh, the Cameron uh, Adwan Hospital is uh, is in Jamalia, uh, and that one has also been absolutely uh, as absolutely battered. Uh, and the World Health Organization has said that it is extremely worried about the state of the uh, people who are in that Jabalia. Uh, hospital. Uh, let me give you a statement here from uh, Trejas Adnan Ghebreyesus, who is, of course, the, the head of the World Health Organization. Uh, he uh, has absolutely condemned uh, these strikes and said, since this morning's reports of a raid on uh, Kamal Adwan Hospital in northern Gaza, we have lost touch with the personnel there. This development is deeply disturbing, given the number of patients being served and people sheltering there. He goes on to say... Kamal Adwan Hospital has been overflowing with close to 200 patients, a constant stream of horrific trauma cases. It was also full of hundreds of people seeking shelter. Accessing hospitals, he said, across Gaza is getting unbelievably harder and exposes our staff to unnecessary danger. I think it is it's worth saying that Jabalia has been the focus of an extraordinary onslaught over three weeks now. Uh, medics in that area estimate that around 800 people uh, have died. Now, the IDF, the uh, Israeli Defence Forces, uh, have said that they have done uh, an evacuation to try to get thousands, tens of thousands of people out of that area in advance uh, of the assault that they have carried out. They say that there are terrorists uh, and terrorist infrastructure in the area. That is why that they are pursuing it. Um, but uh, it, it is yet another attack on what has been a remarkably besieged area.